All right, today I'm going to talk about capacitors. Now, these are all various types of capacitors. You see, um, a lot of them look like this. This is a really big 250 volt capacitor. Something that I don't want to touch when it's charged up. That thing still scares me. Um, this is a nice little 35 volt capacitor that I have. I'm fine with touching this. Actually, in the end of the video, I will charge it up and show you. Here, let me go grab a 9 volt. Um. All right, so I'm back with the nine volt. See, this is it. I, it's quite useful. Um, but uh, capacitors come in all shapes and sizes. See, this is a tiny guy, really tiny. Bigger guy. Um, various capacitors. They're quite useful. They act as temporary batteries. They can charge and discharge very quickly. Um, and, uh, they use a variety of, uh, elements to, to make them work. One of them is tantalum, um, and it has a funny name. Here, I'm going to move this so you can see it. Yellow on yellow. It doesn't work too well. But, um, a good amount of these I've salvaged from a computer. Um, ones I haven't salvaged are this guy, um, this guy, and this guy. I got those guys from Radio Shack. The rest of these I've ripped out of computers. Uh, extra emphasis on ripped. <laughs> but, um, I took these guys out of computers. These guys are from Radio Shack. And these guys are brand new today. I got them so I could make a radio. Um, but, uh, the thing is, so, um, capacitors, these are actually these can be very dangerous. Anything over 50 volts can give you a heart attack, so you don't want to be goofing around with anything over 50 volts. Don't feel free to goof around with anything under 50 volts. Not if you're old, though. If you are too old, this could stop your heart. Uh, so the rule of thumb is if you're really old or really young, don't goof around with electricity. So, um, uh, so, um, like this capacitor, that could be lethal. Uh, so you don't want to... I, th that thing scares me. So actually, I'm going to get to charging up this capacitor and show you what it can do. Here, what my lighting rig just failed. There, fixed it. Alright. So, this indicates that this side is the negative. Here, I want you to be able to see that. Focus and use my lighting rig. I actually use a book light. Want to see? This is it. This is my little book light. I use it as a lighting rig. Really good. Gonna refocus that. All right. So I take the that, put that on the negative side of the battery. Charge it for a sec. There we got a little spark. See, sparks aren't that big, usually. Um, they're usually very tiny. And, um, yeah, so if you didn't get what you expected, uh, check out my capacitor video. Um, that has much bigger sparks, and I might do that again to show everyone. So, um, thanks for watching. Bye.